Kia ora, malola le, tulo falava, kia ora ana nisa bula, and welcome to a wet go media Mount Smart Stadium number two for the second of our Auckland College Rugby League finals today. This will be the girls' premier final, but the big game that will follow this at 4.30 is the premier boys' grand final, a replay of last year's grand final between De La Salle and St. Paul's. But this women's final, the girls' final, is also a replay of last year's final between Auckland girls' grammar and unbeaten side in 2023 against Macaulay High School. There is so much to look forward to. The weather is on and it is off, and that's how it rolls here today. And this is all brought to you by Dynasty Sport, the official partner for College League in Auckland. Visit Dynasty Sport for all your custom apparel needs. Our fuddy our Fano, the byline for Auckland Rugby League as the rain comes down and the team support is coming. Stephen McIver with TJ Ashford, the Pathways Manager for the Auckland Rugby League in this one. TJ, Women's uh, Rugby League, particularly Wednesday Night Football, has really been a show and I'm expecting a show here today. Yeah, two best teams of the competition here, Stephen. Uh, definitely looking forward to this clash, man. And Auckland Grandma only had 10 points scored against them all year, so it's going to be a massive job for Macaulay High. Tell me that's not a strong defence. Let's take a look at the teams as they line up for this 2023 Girls Premier Final in the College Auckland Rugby League scene. Starting off with Auckland Girls Grammar, unbeaten five from five, and there are a number of players to look out for. Look at the second row, Sarah Palepale Pale and Giovanni Suani, both going to be playing for the Bulldogs, my team, in the NRL. Uh, next year in the Tasha Gale Cup and Braxton Sorensen McGee. Yeah, Braxton's definitely the one. She's got the ball on the string as Braxton. Very good half, especially for her age. Uh, although they're going to the Bulldogs up the Waz. <laughs> you had to get it in, didn't you? Let's take a look quickly at the Macaulay High School side. And Aliana Tonu'u at back is one to keep an eye on. Yeah, Aliana, uh, she's going to be too big and too powerful to stop today, I believe. She's a great middle forward. I know she's in the back here, so could be a smoky by the coaches but the other one's number 20 Evelyn Roberts uh, she's another crafty half so I'm looking forward to the battle between her and Sorensen McGee and the officials come out oh they look like they do not want to be here do they 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 do not want to be here hey see the grimaces on their faces not happy about that at all but that's how it is going to roll yeah, sh shout out to Lau. He's the middle referee for today, man. He's been in worse conditions, so don't, don't worry. I, 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 he'll, he'll love it out there today. Well, there's Aliana Tunu'u taking his skipper's role. And and 13 is uh, Paya Wilo for the Auckland Girls Grammar side. This same match in 2022 was won by Auckland Girls Grammar, 30 points to six. And you do it tough to pick against a team like Auckland Girls Grammar that have only considered... 10 points in the whole season. Yeah, McCauley's definitely going to have to pull something out of the out of the hat today, man. For for a team that's defended, you know, uh, only 10 points scored in five games out throughout the year. Uh, they're going to have to crack them somehow, man. So they're going to have to throw the ball around and the conditions probably aren't playing in their favour at the moment. If you are just joining us here on the Auckland Rugby League YouTube channel, wherever you are around the world, uh, welcome in to Go Media Mount Smart Stadium. The first game of our triple header was the Senior A Boys Final, won by James Cook High School. 24-22, Elijah Solomona was your MVP. But now it's the turn of the two best teams in Auckland College Girls Rugby League to do battle. It's finals day and we are underway. First use of the ball will be Auckland Girls Grammar. They'll just take it nice and easy. Good, strong defense, though, by Riley Otenura Fruin. Just worth noting that Macaulay High are in the blue and black. It's the black and gold that are Auckland girls' grammar. Yeah, ball control proving too difficult earlier on in this contest. And big contact there by Macaulay High School, led by Otunuru Fruin. So Anseline Gale with the early mistake gives Macaulay High a real chance. They're only 32 out from the grammar line. Ball comes out slowly. There's Evelyn Roberts, yes, playing in the 20 jersey in the half. 
And we, you said tough and nuggety. She doesn't mind taking the line on, and that she does. Janel Tutnu in the seven, and then another drop ball. Yeah, you, not happy. Not happy at all. But that weather is not flash either. Although from where we're sitting, we can see blue skies. That's it. It's coming. The last, the last game, man, there was, it was rain, sun. We almost had snow. Uh, <laughs> I'm expecting it to fine up uh, throughout this contest anyway. It looks like the rain's dying off now, but... Uh, yeah, two early um, errors already in this game. Maybe some uh, grand final nerves. So now Auckland Grammar with the ball. This is the number one team in Auckland College Girls Rugby League. This is Taylor Bennett. Masoya needs three to take it down, including Daishan Pepe, who's come off the bench to play, to start. Naika. Hands the ball off. Strong run, but ball gone. For Anaceline, Anaceline Gale, excuse me, Anaceline. So, McCauley ball, slow play. Superwanga got a little dusty. Yeah, she's not happy. That's Lally Schmidt, Superwanga in the 15. Nice, strong carry from... Leona McDonald. Probably get themselves into the grammar half. Roberts. Boards drop back. That's Fruin. She's pushed back. Braxton Sorensen McGee in that tackle. Keep your eye on her when they, they get the ball and the chance. Slow movement, well stopped by Michaela Poimotangi Matautia out there in the centres for Grammar. And another lot drop ball. So coaches are going to be uh, head in hands this early in the game, right? Yeah, too many incomplete sets from both sides at the moment. They're, they're both failing to get to the back end. and uh, That's definitely going to be the challenge here for McCauley today. Um, Auckland Girls Grammar, uh, definitely a physical uh, school um, and they need to probably match that up front physicality wise and hopefully get to the back end of their sets just a reminder uh, school girl rugby league as with school boy rugby league 25 minute halves 5 minute half times and a little over 21 to play early in the first half of this Premier Girls final brought to you by Dynasty Sport Bruin needs three to stop her, including Letitia Michener in six. Cut that ball, finds Giovanni Suwani. Can't miss her, she's got the headgear on. Giovanna in the 12. Nika, Ooh, a little juggle of the ball there, finds Sorensen McGee. Sorensen McGee tries to step away, but is well taken care of. Faith Tavita in an acting half. Kick comes from Payawilu. And nicely taken. Nicely taken by Lele Schmidt Supawanga. Yeah, that's a better end of set there for Auckland Girls Grammar. Got McCauley right where they need them at the moment. Working it out from their own 20. It's a heavy contact there. A good response by Pepe, who'd taken a bit of a knock about a couple of minutes earlier. Never took her eye off the ball. Ofa Kaluuta in the 12. Handoff goes into the hands of Janelle Tunu'u. Good, strong carry by Tunu'u. Gets them 45 out from the grammar half. And it was on five and last, so they didn't keep the count. Yeah, last play. They've uh, completed their set there, but they probably need to get to their kick and uh, build a bit of pressure on Auckland Grammar. They've had a fair bit of ball inside their own half at the moment. Faith Tavita meets resistance.
Naika finds Masui. McCauley are arcing up in defence. Yeah, they've been good at the moment. They, they definitely need to match them physically. As we see a bit of market pressure there by Tanu'u. Zilea Vasa Avoli. Zara with the ball. She'll play it. 32 out from the McCauley line. Now drop back into Giovanna Suwani. Get the impression that Suwani, and once they get the hand off to Pali Pali, these two young women are going to have a hell of a lot to play for. This is Wheelow. Nika waiting, looking left. Goes left. Finds McGee. McGee with the kick. What's the chase like? Chase is good. Catch is even better. So a bit of a soft finish to that set. Yeah, not too bad. Again, they've turned it over. They're about three or four metres out from their own line at the moment as McCauley. So they're going to do it tough as we see Evelyn Roberts there taking the run for McCauley. But they definitely have to get to their kick here, Stephen. It's been a tough slog. They've played most of the game down here as they see a bit bunch down there on attack as well. The forwards are going to have to help out because if they give Evelyn Roberts some space, they're going to have a great old day. Daishan Pepe with the ball. But look at the defence. Dumped her. Dumped on the back. Ball comes free. Back into the hands of Grammar. Messina Fruin with the ball in 17. Letitia Michener wants a quick play. Goes right. Finds Matautia. Matautia still going. Hunting now. 12 out for the line, Grammar. Are they going to be... First to score on this girls' grand final. Another strong carry by Siraya Palipali. We were waiting for her. Here she is. Yeah, she's going to be hard to stop today. We look. Holds the ball. Intercept. Oh, intercept. Intercept and picked up by Gemma Tunu. She's not going to get all the way, but that just breaks all the momentum of Auckland girls' grammar. Nice pick off. Great read there by the number four, Gemma Tanu'u. Starting She's their set off quite well now is McCauley. Heading towards halfway, McCauley high. Junel Tanu'u dragging her opponent across with a smile on her face too. <laughs> Tanu'u, Aliana gets the ball away. Good little play, they've got numbers. Ruta Sitala on a 19. They're running out of room. They've got to come, to come back infield. This is Dyson Pepe. Tunu'u. Finds McDonald. Roberts. Tunu'u again. This is the intercept queen. And Jimmy Tunu'u. Good strong Good run. Strong run. Yes, that was. Oh. That was Jimmy Tunu'u. Atua. Roberts, little short ball for Luvone Panatio. Five and last for McCauley. Can they be first to score? Roberts with the grubber. Comes off Grammar. And good, good attack. So they'll get the ball back. So good end of the set for McCauley High. Yeah, first time they're going to uh, apply a bit of pressure as we see Sorensen McGee try and throw the long cutout pass there. Tavita too fast. She brought down to Nau. Uh, uh, Evelyn Roberts there putting in a nice little grubber kick. And they're short in goals too, TJ. Yeah, they're, well, they're, they're renowned for having short in goals here at um, Go Media number two. So uh, the fifth and final kicks, especially close uh, close to the try line like that, are going to be important today. I feel like I'm watching Super League when I say short in <laughs> goals. This is Levon Ponatio. Great carry by Leonie McDonald. She wants to get the ball away, but she'll hold it. They've got plenty of tackles up their sleeve. They're inside the 10 now, McCauley. Tunu'u is 18 on the field. It goes behind her player. That was Maya Tony, uh, daughter touched. of Motu Tony. Yeah, traditionally a hooker is Maya, and she looks like she's playing in the halves today. So, so Tony finds Pepe. Daishan Pepe. Been busy since having a little bit of a moment. She's away. Short on the short side there too. Only two defenders, but yeah. they look to come open. Roberts. 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 Stopped. 
And a good stop too by Giovanni Suani. Looks for the quick play, gets it. Comes back outside, Fruin. Oh, an intercept, but a knock on too. So they'll get another use of the ball and another full set. Yeah, great defence by Auckland Grammar, but I, I'm, I'm really proud of the way that McCauley's holding on to the ball there, building a bit of pressure. Uh, sometimes, you know, when you've had a fair bit of time down there on the try line, you can get a, a bit impatient to score points. Um, so they're holding the nerve at the moment. 13 and a half to play in this Premier Girls final of the Auckland College Rugby League finals day. Still to come. St. Paul's versus De La Salle at 4.30. Oh. Short side scrum base play. Nice little play. Here they go into Nuuzen, is she? No. What's the call? No. No, she's failed to ground the ball there. I thought she had enough time to put the ball down too. Gemma Tanu goes in and just gets a nice little shoulder tap. Yeah, it's Faith Tavita coming across <laughs> with the cover tackle there. She's holding the right-hand right, right hand side of Ed. I think she felt that too. Yeah. So Grammar Ball, they've survived three cracks at their line. They'll be happy with that. And that's no surprise when you see they've only conceded 10 points all season. That's right. 10. It sounds almost impossible to understand. Yeah, well, it's an average of two points a game at the moment for them, man. So, <laughs> now nah, look, they, like I said, uh, McCauley's going to have to throw a bit of caution to the wind here if they're wanting to score points against Auckland Girls Grammar, but at the same time, they've got to have a high completion rate. But they know, TJ, they can break breaks. They know they can get down there. It's just how they execute. Yeah, I, I think the key, key in McCauley is definitely in their forwards as well. They've got a few strong uh, runners in Aliana Tonu. I think they need to probably go back to having that as we see it. Why would play the ball there. Um, they got away with that one, but yeah, Aliana Tanoi, she's real strong. You can see she's had ample uh, of touches so far in this contest as well. So Grammar well inside the half now of Macaulay High. Ball goes up, courtesy of Braxton Sorensen McGee. Tanoi lets it bounce. She's got a little bit of help by Faith Tavita. Janelle Tunu'u. So a bit of back and forth, back and forth. But they are really bunched up, McCauley. 11 and a half to play. First half only, no score. Both sides have been threatening, but haven't been able to finish the, the sets off to get themselves on the board. Good yeah, it's been by. almost 15 minutes and <laughs> still no points on the board. So we'll see... Uh, What's the thing here? It looks like a penalty. Mark is not square. That's the Macaulay High School coach. Olo Roberts. Daughter Evelyn with the ball right now to start the set. F like the look of Riley at the near to Fruin. Straight runner. Holds the ball well. Yeah, she's got uh, good footwork as well, man. So uh, she, can, she has played in the house before as well. So she's got a good bit of ball skill as Riley. Teal, 30 out from the grammar line. Willow. This is Aliana. Aliana Tunu is still going. Brushes off one. Brushes off two. Loves, puts the big left arm out. Get out of my way. Ten to go. Here's Maya Tony. Looks up. Steps over left. And, and... Oh, great Just defense misses. again. McCauley on attack. Roberts, cut out ball. Finds Teal. They're in. And Janelle Tanu finishes it off. McCauley high. First to score in the Premier Girls final. So, McCauley high. Some great ball movement here. Number five, just a good in and away there. Panaya Teal. You see there, just got on the inside of her defender. Getting that last pass away. Janelle Tanu'u. There's a couple of them out there today. Getting their first full pointer on the board. And uh, it's an important try as well, Stephen. They've, they've built a little bit of pressure over the last five or so minutes. Well, this is going to raise the eyebrows of those in the... Uh, Premier 13 girls competition because that means they've uh, considered more points of their two points a game that is uh, correct Auckland girls grammar who have only conceded 10 points in the whole season have now conceded four in the grand final the big dance that matters yeah big big play there especially from their uh, their big 
big players as well. Aliana Tonu. I, th I thought Maya Roberts. Uh, yeah. Sorry, excuse me, Maya Tonu. Excuse me. Set things in motion. Yeah, I thought, yeah, Tonu was strong. Good bumpers into contact there as we see uh, Evelyn Roberts taking the kick. Strikes it well. Is she going to make the distance? Full short, pulls it left. No extras are added, but it's McCauley High. First to score in the girls' Premier 13 final. They lead 4-0 against reigning champions, Auckland Girls Grammar. I just wondered too, whether not having to play a semi-final by going straight into the final, that Auckland Girls Grammar will need a bit more game time to find their mojo because McCauley had to beat Southern Cross 2014 to get to this point. Yeah, as we see it kick off here by Sorensen McGee. Look, Auckland Girls uh, Grammar still have some real quality girls in their lineup. So early days so far at the moment, but um, all good signs. Led by another good player here, Otanuru uh, Fruin. Uh, she's been outstanding in this game along with her other front row forward, Aliana Tonu. This is another strong carry by Luvon Tio. Wilo. Aliana Tonu. Come and get me. Loves mixing it up, doesn't she? Yeah. Loves mixing it up. Then gives her a bit of a stare down as she moves forward. Getting, oh, yes. Getting some messages from uh, our old uh, head of women's as well, Mary Parsi. She's a big part of, the, of why the women's game is so successful here in Auckland lately. And she's uh, noticing how, how good the work rate is of um, Aliana as well. So. so she'll be watching on the ARL YouTube she's channel and loving it. Yep. Here we look. Fruin. They're giving Fruin a lot of space. And once again, right, they've missed the tackle go, count. Yeah, big play there. Yeah. They've, they've marched them up the field, so they've, they've got some good meters on their carries, but they needed to get a kick there. Uh, just, uh, just a little bit of pressure. You, you can't give these girls from Auckland Girls Grammar any field position. Marcel, we've been strong so far. Tavita, Faith. It's the left hand, it bounces off to Nuu. Oh, wow. throws to Nuu down. Get out of my way. Here I come, says Faith Tavita. This is Masoya. Oh, to Nuu's got up and... <laughs> and Charlotte Scandon says to me, first thing first, got to get the hair right. Yeah. <laughs> Here they come. This is Sarah Pale Pale. Auckland girls' grandma on the hunt now. They're trailing by four on the girls' final. Willow. Good carry again by Bayer. Michina. Finds Sorensen McGee. One, one. This is Selitute off the bench. Throwing back by the McCauley defense. Five and last. Trailing by four. What have they got, the reigning champions? They go Your wide. Space. This is Suwani. Suwani can't get it away. No. Good defense by McCauley High. Massive defensive effort there by the right edge of McCauley. So we see Faith Tavita goes for one. Second effort. <laughs> Boom. As one of my good mates, Kiko Bumpfa. That's the call. <laughs> and a good strong defense by the girls in blue and black. So McCauley High now have to work themselves off their own line. A little bit bunched. And too close to their own try line. Massive set for McCauley here too. I think that might be play two at the moment. Still inside their own 10 metres. They haven't got to their kick the last few sets. So they're going to need a big carry as we see a nice one here by the number 15. It's Oni on it. Excuse me, my apologies. That's Lada Schmidt, Superwanga. Here we look. They're making good metres, McCauley, now that they're out. But they're going to have to get rid of it. Roberts goes there, comes off the side of her boot, but they've let it bounce. Always a danger, particularly when it's wet. Masoy under chase. pressure. Gets away from Roberts. What's the defense like? She's still going. Still going. Needed to make that tackle. Ooh, oh. bent over backwards. No, no problem, she says. Play on. 
Matautia gets through. Fans gets, are getting rowdy. Gets Grammar over halfway. Heavy contact. Messina Fruin. And their way into this one again. Auckland, this Unseline Gale. Needs three to stop it. Still going legs pumping away. making sure that McCauley are, are 10 metres clear. McGee. Strong run by Letitia Michener. Five and last for Grammar. Slow play the ball. Tavita at acting half. Suwani. Finds Sorens McGee going to the air. They've let it bounce and walk straight to the hands of Masoy. Penalty there inside 10 on the kick chase, I believe. I'll tell you what, the McCauley team will be breathing a sigh of relief because that was a great pickup. Yeah, they needed that. And it's a big two-minute period too, Stephen. So they're in front on the scoreboard at the moment. Um, but it seems like that momentum shift has just gone in favour of Auckland Grammar at the moment. So if they can slow it down a little bit into their own pace and complete their set, get another good kick away and a good kick chase, uh, they might end this uh, half on top. And let's just confirm too, in boys and girls, college rugby league, no time off. It was a great take by Taylor Bennett Masoy. It just came free. Yeah, she's a, she's a competitor, man. We, we took her on tour for our Auckland under 17s touring side at the start of the year. Um, but she just competes on every play. She's not only tough, but just she, she wants, she wants oh. to win. That's a super oh. big shot. Yes, please, Anseline Gale, run at me because you'll have to work for it. Really high with the ball now. Fruin. He's been strong all half. This is Uido. Just moving the ball, shifting the ball nicely. This is Eliana Tunu'u. Has been ever present in this first half and looked dangerous with the ball. Yeah, she's tough uh, and she's very quick as well, man. So it you know, proves hard to stop there. So we Here see come Anna McCauley. McCauley. Here they come. Leonie McDonald still rumbling down the field. 15 out from the Gramelon. Can they score before the half and put the reigning champions under all sorts of pressure? Roberts with the kick through. Comes off. Picked up by Theo. Ball still alive. Good hands. Willow. This is Annalisa. Holding the ball under immense pressure from Naika. And it's a handover. Last play there. They are here to play are McCauley High. Yeah, and, and the, the big the big game players like McDonald as well, they've, they've all been standing up for McCauley at the moment. And those cu couple of forwards have been doing some barnstorming runs as you see McDonald take a half break there. Strong carry again by Faith Tavita. Yeah. Faith Tavita does what we've seen her already do once. Puts that arm out and says, get out of my way. <laughs> Grammar, no one, no one waiting. No one there. For Michener. Just a little bit slow, a little, looking a little disorganised at the moment. Good one out running. Yeah, a good positional change though. Letitia Michener, traditionally a hooker. Uh, looks like she's moved into nine as well. Sorensen McGee. Matautia. Matautia gets the break. Oh, Ball's picked up though. Nicely picked up by Supawanga. So they're making the most of the little moments, Macaulay High. Yeah, they have, man. And, and they're just coming up with those big moments as we see the uh, halftime Huda go in the background. So that's halftime in the Premier Girls 13 final of the Auckland College Rugby League competition. And eyebrows will be raised because the favourites haven't got on the board yet. That's Auckland Girls Grammar, your defending champions. Right now, it's Macaulay High School leading 4-0. I've really enjoyed watching how it corners this year. The way that they're starting to move the ball and the union converts starting to understand the game a little bit more. We've got a lot of heart there, a lot of mixed experience with new girls. So this year I hope we can get it up. It's
Sandhurst will go all the way. And Lafayette is still going. And yes! Oh, wow! How close was that for Cassie Altman? Mount Albert obviously a powerhouse with him. Like, oh, she pointed that one really well. Munch intercepted and Moana Cook. Lovely inside ball. Van Gelder. Uh, I'm really liking the look of, of the Mount Albert Lionesses. Uh, they're a really young team, a lot of 19-year-old girls that have just come through the grade, and I think this game could go either way. And uh, we've got a, two good teams going out of here. I think there's going to be a big target on our team this year. Uh, I know that last year we, we won last year last year's grand final which was an epic game won just by point chef completed an unbeaten season for the point chef pirates and here they go again looking to defend their title and here comes big stat simply to beat a hazard down from dummy half and he could go all the way here oh yeah and that's what happens when you can make a mistake against point chef they will punish you and the bulldogs have over the history of the club, they've got one close to 12 parts. Yeah, the hunger is there, and uh, we've got a lot of young boys coming through, so I know they're, they're hungry as well. And in goes Jeremiah shooting. What a try, too. Sawaki Tolfa. All day doggies. second half of the Premier Girls 13 Auckland College Rugby League final is almost set to go as the rain returns here to Go Media Mile Smart Stadium and early upset on the cards is the question mark Macaulay High uh, lead the reigning girls champions 4-0 just the one try to Janelle Tanu in the first half but they've had a lot of the play the momentum in the back half of the first was really starting to come back in favour of Auckland Girls Grammar Stephen McIver, TJ Ashford in the house for this one. It's a good house too that's filling up, preparing for the final between the defending boys champions, St. Paul's, and the national champions, De La Salle. So if you want a tasty little game to look forward to, that's coming up after this one as Braxton Sorensen McGee for Auckland Girls Grammar restarts in the second half. And they show, oh, look who it is. Faith DeVita has put her shoulder into everything and her right arm up to remind the girls from Macaulay High that she is here and here to play. Yeah, good uh, start with the contact there from Auckland Girls Grammar. Faith Tavita, man, how good. She's put on a couple uh, damaging shots with and without the ball so far in this contest. Macaulay with the ball. They get first use of it, and they'll want to try, try and extend that lead. We saw in the Senior A final that James Cook High went out to an early eight-point lead, and it was just enough because they got home 24-22 against Otahu. Maybe McCauley are in that position. We're about to find out. 24 minutes to play, 25-minute halves, shifting the ball out the right. This is Janelle Tunu. Evelyn Robertson, 20. What's the kick through? And then oh, it bounced. And it bounced dangerously too, and it's picked up. But they've got to keep moving with it. Yeah, touch back to one. Full set now for McCauley. It's placed into the hands with the rain at their backs. Maya Tony. Big defensive set here for Auckland girls. 
Three out. Here come McCauley. Pushing, pushing. Can't get the twist. That's early in for Owe. Uli. Aliana threw him. Good space. hands. Good hands. Tio. And one more. Oh, and look wow. out. She's got the double. Janelle Tanuu goes in again. It's try number two for McCauley. And they extend their lead on the defending champions. Wow, outstanding first set here with the ball for Macaulay High School. It's exactly what they asked for from the coaches at half time. You see some nice tough runs. It was a, a Lib, Evelyn Roberts, great kick there with a good kick chase. But look at the ball movement here. This is what killed them. Uh, Auckland Girls Grandma was just bang, 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 bang. Yeah, good ball control there. As you see Evelyn Roberts there. Look at the draw and pass, skillful. The ball from Fruin that really set the rest of this play up. Gisela Tour with the ball to Janelle Tanu'u. And Macaulay High extend their lead against Auckland Girls Grammar. Man, at the start of the game, we mentioned 10 points against them all year has Auckland Girls. Conceded eight right now. Yep. We've only played, what, 30 minutes of football? Probably, probably not in a position that they're used to either, Auckland Girls. So, you know, and, and this is... Um, you know, I, I suppose coming through the grades sometimes when you're in dominant teams, sometimes it's hard to uh, understand how to get back in the contest for these ones as well. So it's going to be a big opportunity for these girls. But I suppose this is where you as a pathways manager has an opportunity to go to schools, talk to them about moments like these and remind them as Evan Roberts lines this one up. All concentration. Strikes it well. Oh, just slides off to the right hand upright so no extras added as the grammar girls wonder what's going on but right now in this premier girls final it's macaulay high eight and all girls grammar the big donut yeah who would have thought man uh, but big contest all, all the big players sticking up for macaulay at the moment uh we're standing up for macaulay and the wrong players just doing their job as well good execution on catch and pass and um, they've, they've, they've done well so far, but there's still 20 minutes to go. It's always interesting when you, you say the word role players, young people, anyone, no, stick to your role. Everything works out. Auckland Girls Grammar restart, trailing by eight. There's that number, eight. And oh no, and she knows it too. Mistake right from the kickoff, hands huge advantage to Auckland Girls Grammar. Yeah, definitely not what a coach asked for after points. We saw it in the first grand final for today as well. James Cook High School uh, failing to capitalise on a few of those opportunities, but massive defensive set coming up here for McCauley. In the space of six tackles, momentum can shift easy in a game. Matotia feeds the scrum for Auckland Girls' Grammar. They come the short side, and it's a good, strong run too. This is Pai Uilo. Pai still going, but Great taken tackle. out. Great defence by McCauley. Yeah, she, oh, it was a nice run there. I, I, I think she just failed to understand where the sideline was. Well, or just say, uh, Leila Schmidt-Supawanga saw where she was going, used her momentum and just grabbed her and threw her out. Yeah, especially in the conditions too. It's not going to be uh, the best play running down close to the sideline. But still, it's uh, not over at the moment. McCauley needs to get to the back end of this set. Turn the ball over into a corner. McCauley with the ball now. Good run. Ruta Sitala gets through one, looks for the quick play, but gets caught trying to get up. Here we look. Roberts. Roberts has been a real instigator of what's going on out there and started to really find her rhythm. Yeah, she's, she's got her hands on the ball more often than not, um, as Roberts. And uh, any half that can do that in a competition or in a game, you know, puts himself in a really good position to take some control. So, so see. Good run here by Maya Tony. Gets them inside. McCauley high into the Auckland Grammar half. Roberts waiting. He's given good space. Gets a good kick away. But nicely taken at the back. So now Auckland Girls Grammar have to work themselves out of their own half. And this is a very good run by Taylor Bett and Masoy. Defense is up to it though. She comes to a pretty quick stop.
strong contact there by McCauley. Grammar with the ball, training by eight. 18 and a half to play in the Premier Girls final of Auckland College Rugby League, brought to you by Dynasty Sport. The official partner for College League in Auckland, visit Dynasty Sport for all your custom apparel needs. Another strong run by Saraya Halepale. Unable to get through, met by her opposite number in Riley Fruin. McGee, Sorensen McGee, still going. They're letting her run, they're giving her space. Don't do that, because Sorensen McGee will hurt you. She'll just take more meters inside the 10 now. Grammar ball. Uilo steps off of a big I step and off a yeah. right. Just not close enough to stretch out, and it was fifth and final. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still happy with that play. Uh, it's going to turn it over close to the line. Uh, you, you mentioned earlier as well that the goals are short, man. So if you put in a kick, it might not come off. That's a seven tackle set. So they're working it off their own try line. If they keep building pressure, they might force an error here as Auckland Gam Grammar. Geez, you're easy, easily, easy to make happy, aren't you? Oh, there you go, man. I called it. <laughs> We're not picking numbers here. Yeah. Watch again, mistake by McCoy. So close there on half. And it's uh, Gisela Tour, the ball just going behind her and hands Auckland Girls Grammar the ball in a tidy position. 10 out from the McCauley line. They will need to score. There is still plenty of time, just under 17 minutes to play, but for their own confidence, they'll want to score on the set. I think that could be a momentum shift as well, you know. Like, as soon as you get points on, the floodgates might open. Let's see Pali Pali here. Pali Pali! And in. You talk about momentum shift, just say Pali Pali. And Grandma are in. Finally, the defending champions get across the chalk. Yeah, McCauley High School. Being a bit too guilty there. Of worrying about the open space on the outside. You need to focus around where the ball is. Pali Pali. She only had Determined. eyes for the try line. Look at the intensity in that try by Saraya Pale Pale for Auckland Girls Grammar. Oh, she means business. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's definitely one to watch out for in the back end of this game. Uh, but could that be the momentum shift? You know, it's eight points to four, kick to come. Braxton Sorensen McGee with the conversion, and it's in good position too. That 11 out. Just to the right of the right hand upright. You could throw that one over, TJ. Tia Tia almost missed it from in front. He really did miss it with the penalty stop. So. But the numbers go up, and so it's 8 6. And this game has come alive again on the back of this wonderful solo try off the back of the scrum by Saraya Pale Pale. Man. Yeah, good footwork shown by Pale Pale there as well. Shaping that inside shoulder, just getting on the outside there late. Nice try, good footwork. And only two points the difference now. Rain still falling. But Macaulay High have made them work hard. Now it's for them to reset. What would you be saying as coach to your your charges out there if you're Macaulay High right now? Yeah, again, I'll still be staying, staying positive. Um, the, the thing that's let them in the game here for Auckland Girls Grammar is just their ball control. They've had a few back-to-back -back sets. They just got to remember what got them to this point in the first part, and that was completing at a high level, turning the ball over at the right end of the field. So it's funny when it's funny when a team has a break, isn't it? That suddenly all the good work that they've done comes undone. Both teams in that first five minutes were dropping the ball left, right, and centre. Yeah, and grand finals come down to moments. You saw that uh, incident, you know, with the drop ball straight after kickoff. There, it's important uh, that teams, you know, can, uh, especially after points, get to the back and complete. Oh, oh, oh. Annalisa Uelo has just felt the heat of Erika Timoteo. What a run. Flattened. Left an imprint on Go Media Mount Smart Stadium's number two turf. And Celine Gale doesn't want to give up. Keeps going. Slow play of the ball. Maybe she's a little dizzy. No, it looks like she's just uh, twisted something as she limps back in. Here's the try scorer, Sarah Palapale. Oh, they're going to, she's going to attract a lot of attention now. Rokini. Laia Ukuru Rokini in the 14 jersey for Auckland Girls. Grammar. Kitchener. 
Johnson McGee there, starting to run now. Here's Bayoulon, there we go again. It's try number two in the blink of an eye. And the champions are starting to pump. Yeah, massive play here by Auckland Girls Grandma. The middle forwards just winning the control. Finding their France, getting some quick play the balls here. And Michina starting in the house, but they brought on at hooker. Some nice play. We see Braxton Sorensen McGee. Nice little drop under play there from the inside out. Sucked three players in and allowed the gap to be opened. And Bayer Wheeler goes in and second try in as many minutes for Auckland Girls Grammar. And suddenly their support has come to life. Yeah, great try by Auckland Girls. Again, as a defensive set where McCauley had to tie them up and try and put a bit of pressure on their kick, kicker there. But Sorensen McGee had too much time with the ball. Too crafty as well. Not too much time allowed to make the right decision. Drops it perfectly, goes Braxton Sorensen McGee. The extras are added. And now it's Auckland Girls Grammar. You're defending Auckland College Girls Champions in the lead. 12 points to 8 over Macaulay High. Happened too quickly. Now it's how you adjust to that bang bang moment if you're Macaulay High. Yeah, it's important not to worry too much. I know they're behind for the first time uh, on the scoreboard, but. There is still time. It's only a try in it at the moment. Uh, the best way to get in that is a, is a set at a time. So they need to kick deep, defend hard, put a bit more pressure on the ball carrier. Hopefully force an error here so they can uh, get a bit more opportunity to attack the control. Two good solid tries. One from Sarah Pale Pale and the other one from Pai Uilu. And Auckland Girls Grammar lead 12 points to 8, 11.46 and counting in this Premier Girls final of Auckland College Rugby League. Still to come, De La Salle for St. Paul's. As Evelyn Roberts from McCauley High restarts and the rainbow pops up behind the main grandstand. That's a good sign. We love rainbows. This is Rene Walker, Tui Letutufunga, off the bench for Auckland Girls Grammar. They're finding gaps and they're finding lots of space. Another strong run from Erika Timoteo. Michina. Up, good, shot. good shot, great shot. Back off, says Aliana Tunu'u. Try score, pale pale, pale pale, almost slips through. Needs three to stop her and slow her down. Can't get the quick play of the ball. Just through the hands. And then well, well read by Ladishmit Sopawanga stops that movement in its track sun comes out 31 out from the Macaulay high line and Braxton Sorensen McGee goes to the air eyes on the ball Good and take. well taken by Gisela Tour that'll do her confidence a huge amount of good and here come Macaulay working their way off their line Janelle Tunu'u has the double already but they'll want the win the only McDonald. Ooh. Hung on to by the shirt. A bit soft out there in the middle, almost on halfway. A lot of one out running going. Oh, Good whack! Shot. Whack! By Olo says, take that! Sipawanga. They need an ear here. It's McCauley. Five and last for McCauley. They'll go to the air. Evelyn Roberts, up she goes, but looks a little bit too far. More than a little bit too far. That's onto the running track and heading heading south. <laughs> yeah, big play there. Seven tackles set now for Auckland Girls Grammar. McCauley just need to tighten up defensively here. Try to put a few shots on. Awesome error. Just didn't quite kick it right. Needed a little more hang time. Yeah. Had plenty of time to get that kick away too, so... Yeah, there's, there's a lot of space now opening up in, the, in this, this part of the second half. Now, both sides, are, they're probably tiring. Yep. Under 10 to play, but it's anybody's game. The momentum swing has severely swung towards Orphan Girls' grammar as a mouth guard pops out of Faith to Vita. Here they come again. Another strong carry from Giovanna Suwani. Just on halfway, Auckland Girls Grammar. The 
is starting to roll. You can sense. Good stop. Good stop. Well, first hit at least by Ruta Setala. Michener looking left. Goes right. Defense is a little slow to get up, and it's allowing Auckland Girls Grammar plenty of room to move. Masoli stopped. <laughs> Tautia steps over left and just runs straight into a, a blue and black wall featuring Leonie McDonald. Up goes Sorensen McGee. Came off the side of a boot and has been well taken by Dyson Pepe. Yeah, good kicking game on display here by Sorensen McGee. Just feel McCauley needs something similar to back into their sense of see some strong contact. By Paul Matangi and Mataltia. Yeah, so one feeling that he here comes Gisela Toa, who took that lovely high ball. You almost sense, TJ, if, if someone is willing to run, then gaps are going to open. A little bit like that that moment there, where Roberts gets the ball away. Here's Fruin. Fruin beats you. one, doesn't beat two. We look. Finds Roberts back in the line. <laughs> Teammate Aliana Tumu said, Get him away, you're in the way. Roberts finds some space. Runs behind two grammar players. Fifth and last for Macaulay High. They need to get something out of this. They need to force an error to try and get themselves back in this game. Found open space. They've let it bounce, but it's picked up by Sorensen McGee. She beats the first, and that's a really solid carry. That's actually Messina Fruin now with the ball. team is trailing by four and they need to get back on the board not be defending yeah it's a tough ask for her too she's her work rate's been outstanding so far big carries doing lots of work defensively as well but her team needs her here so she needs to find something in the tank McDonald with an almost stop at Pali Pali still going and gets a good play of the ball Nika wasn't watching that ball Finds Faith to beat it, who does run out again. And away they go. But have they taken their uh, Rene Walker through a little too far across the touchline? Yes, they have. So it breaks down at the last moment for Auckland Girls Grammar. Yeah, probably not the smartest idea there. Probably needed to come back inside late there on the contact. Uh, but good cover defence there by Evelyn Roberts as well. Game on the line. We're inside, almost inside our final five. They need something here, Stephen. Yeah, there's nothing in this game. You can sense that, yes, Auckland Girls Grammar have the upper hand on the board, but now a couple of errors. All McCauley need to find is some space. There is plenty. Oh, yes. Oh, guess who? Sarah Palipali. You want to score? Get past me. So McCauley again. McDonald. Good strong carry, and she just throws Phoenix Rhodes on a backside. Grand final play. Love it. A little bit slow through him. Another good carry from her. Just inside the grammar half. Roberts will go to the air this time. It'll be taken nicely. A little bit of a bobble, but picked up by Masoy. Defense is up to it. Now they've got to be strong in their defense. It's got to become an offensive defense. They're just lacking a bit of line speed here as McCauley too. They need to find some energy if they want to win this uh, contest. See here, only one girl coming up here making, trying to make contact. In traffic too. Too much space. Pale, pale, don't let it through. Here comes Soraya. 23 out, 24 out from the McCauley line. A try here could seal the deal for the defending champions. Plenty of ball, plenty of space. Rokene plays the ball. 15 out. Slowly moving forward. 
Last play. They'll run it. They'll try to run it. And they've got space, have they? Yes! Faith Tavita gets in. Is that the final nail in the Macaulay High Coffin? It almost broke down, but they were able to get it away. And Faith Tavita scores for Auckland Girls. Yeah, good play here by Braxton Sorensen. McGee looks to run on the final play. Giovanna Swani there getting a late offload. As you see here, almost lost the ball on contact there. Sorensen McGee with a nice pass over the top. Faith Tavita, she's done well today. Been strong with the ball. She gets the job done when it comes to probably sealing the deal for Auckland Girls Grammar. Now out to a 16-8 lead and the clock is well against Macaulay High. Challenging conversion attempt about 22 out, about one or two in from the grandstand touchline. If there's anyone in the girls grade that can get this though, it'll be Sorensen McGee. He's got a good kick on her. This is really that one, so you can probably get a more aware of what's going on. Get out of the way, son. He's got some air time though. <laughs> On replay this afternoon. So Good kick. kick. Wow. Oh, how about that? If you want to be champions, you have champion moments. And that's one there for Braxton Sorens McGee, and she knows it too. Adds the extras, and the lead is now 10. And the defending champions lead by 10. 18 8 after this Faith to beat a try that. And a movement that almost broke down. Yeah, good little eyes up play there by Sorensen McGee. And uh, no, capitalised on that with a sideline conversion too. How good, grand final. 18-8, Auckland Girls Drama. Look on track to defend their 2022 title. Massive comeback. Massive comeback because McCauley had them going. Yeah. McCauley led 4-0 at halftime. Then scored out to an 8-0 lead. And then suddenly, Auckland girls went bang, bang through Pale Pale and Pai Uluwa. And a good cool little pick up. Nicely played by McCauley High, but we are inside the last yeah, they might run out of 60 time seconds. Here. Let's get a try, though. Good run, strong contact here by Auckland girls' grandma. McCauley, if they got one more try in them, and this girls final Aliana Tunu who's tried her hardest all day it's been a solid effort by Macaulay High and they are still fighting McDonald still trying to get the ball away unable to they go right that's where they scored last time they had numbers and oh Evelyn Roberts drops the ball and that should be it with under 20 seconds and counting Five, last play of the game. Five seconds to play. If McCauley got one more in them before the hooter. They try, they try, and they don't. And there you have it. Full time in the Premier Girls final, and the defending champions remain the champions of Auckland College Rugby League. Auckland Girls Grammar win this one 18 points to eight after trailing by eight early in the second half. It was two quick tries, and then just momentum swung their way. But Macaulay High certainly did themselves proud, and their school proud. Grammar fans happy about that. Both teams reflecting on their 50 minutes of grand final play here at Go Media Mount Smart Stadium number two. No upset today in this one. Paulie looked on target for a while. I'm sure the rugby league gods were saying, wouldn't it be nice? But then the rain came down. And that probably switched momentum just a little bit in favour of who handled the ball better. And an early drop by McCauley in that second half really cost them. Yeah, especially after their, their um, try as well. They like, just wanted to lead out to eight points and then try to kick off the ball. And from that moment there, I think there might have been, what, 20 minutes to go on the clock. 
um, and they just failed to get back momentum. Um, and it, those, especially in big games, momentum's massive. Once you've got it, um, it could be the, the difference between them. So quiet reflection by McCauley High. After going down in this Premier Girls Grand Final of Auckland College Rugby League, brought to you by Dynasty Sport. Just a reminder, too, that the New Zealand Secondary Schools Tournament is uh, not too far away. Bruce Pullman Park in Auckland on September the 1st and 3rd, two-thirds. So that'll be, that'll be something good to go and watch. You play both girls and boys grades. And, you know, De La Salle are the defending champions, and they are up in the next match against the reigning Auckland champions in St Paul. So... And St Paul's were perennial winners yeah. of the New Zealand Rugby League uh, tournament. I can't remember, but I don't, I don't think St Paul's were actually at that um, grand final, uh, that um, national secondary schools final last year either. Which would be a rarity. Correct. So uh, they'll definitely be hunting after them for that title again. St Paul's, known as probably a rugby league school in New Zealand as well. And La Salle, uh, De La Salle, actually have a few boys that have won the under-18s rugby league competition this year. So uh, it's going to be a massive opportunity for both of these boys. So the girls show respect to each other. They love playing their footy as we all love our great game of rugby league. Ags get the win, 18-8. We'll be back with the presentations shortly, live here on the ARR YouTube channel. I've really enjoyed watching how it corners this year. The way that they're starting to move the ball and the union converts starting to understand the game a little bit more got a lot of heart there, a lot of mixed experience with the new girls, so this year I hope we can step it up. And Sandhurst will go all the way, and Lafayette still goes, and yes! Oh, wow! How close was that for Cassie Orkman? Mount Albert obviously a powerhouse with him. Oh, that went really well. Mutt's intercepted, and Moana Cook, lovely inside ball! Van Gelder! Uh, I'm really liking the look of, of the Mount Albert Lionesses. Uh, they're a really young team, a lot of 19-year-old girls that have just come through the grade, and I think this team could go either way. And uh, we've got a, two good teams going at it here. I think there's going to be a big target on our team this year. Uh, I know that last year we, we won last year. Last year's grand final, which was an epic game, won just by point chef completed an unbeaten season for the Point Chef Pirates and here they go again looking to defend their title. Here comes Big Spat simply. Tavita has a dab from Dummy Half. And he could go all the way here. Oh yeah! And that's what happens when you can make a mistake against Point Chef. They will punish you. And the Bulldogs have had the history of the club for one post in the long time. The hunger is there and We've got a lot of young boys coming through, so I know they're, they're hungry as well. And in goes Jeremiah Schuster. What a try, too. Sawaki Tolpa. All day doggies. Auckland girls grammar are once again champions of Auckland College Rugby League with an 18-8 win over Macaulay High School. It's time for the presentations. All right, guys, what a final that was. Let's make some noise for both these teams. Thank 
the best of boys in a big sport of pot, the captain of the boy Hashi. Ladies are heading off to play the Tasha Go Cup for the Mighty Mighty Bulldogs. That's the Canterbury Bulldogs, by the way. Uh, but there is now a true path for young women in rugby league. Think with the NRLW, Tasha Go Cup, you know? Yeah, it's only going to grow here in New Zealand as well. So I know the Warriors, uh, the one New Zealand Warriors, are looking at opening up that pathway as well, a little bit more in the female space in years to come. So looking forward to that. Let's now find out who the MVP is. So there is your MVP, is Soraya Pale Pale. Gets two hundred and fifty dollars worth of uh, dynasty gear, which is pretty cool. Yeah, man. Shout out to our uh, sponsors of College Rugby League Dynasty. Good to have them on board. Jamal and the team, they do awesome work there, man. So if anyone needs any gear, head down to Dynasty. 
and the moment they wait for. There you have it, your champions in 2023 in Auckland College Rugby League for girls. It is the defending champions, Auckland Girls Grammar. the final score back-to-back -back wins for Auckland Girls Grammar and they defeat Macaulay High School but there is still one game to go in this triple header and it's the Premier Boys final between the national champions De La Salle and the current Auckland champions St Paul's that kicks off at 4.30 we'll see you there right here on the Auckland Rugby League YouTube channel Look at that blue sky now.